Welcome back, everyone. Thank you for tuning in. Smash the subscribe and the like button for me. Today's video, we're going to be talking about a living fence. So, you want to plant a living fence. You want to have a line of trees. I think it's a great idea. I'm going to tell you exactly what you need to do to make this happen in just three years. All these trees were planted just about three years ago. And they were planted as small $20 trees about this height. No, probably small, smaller than this. Um, <clears throat> now, they, uh, the Leylands were planted very small. They will fill out faster than the Thuja Green Giants. Thuja Green Giants were the $20 size at Lowe's. First thing you're going to need to do is measure out the space that you want to plant them in. So measure your line for your living fence. Then measure out every... So I'd plant them every 5 feet or a shovel width apart. Um, you could do 10, but that's for their max... That's when they're going to be maxed out. They'll reach each other at 10 feet. So if you want a faster closure, I would do 5 feet. And they will fill in. And when you go to Lowe's, you're going to want to buy the... You're not going to want to buy the big trees. So don't buy trees that are this size. Don't buy big, big trees. Um, because they'll have a really hard time uh, adjusting. So you're going to want to buy the... $20 trees and let them just let them become at home where you're going to plant them. Now hopefully wherever you're thinking about planting them it is a sunny area because if you're going to do the Thuja Green Giant Arborvitaes or the Leyland Cypresses they both need a tremendous amount of sun. I'm talking about an all-day location so once you do that if your location has Sun you've measured it out all good to go go to Lowe's get the $20 trees come home I like to lay them all out so measure them all out before you plant them in the ground lay them all out take a spray can or something mark where you want to plant all of them this is a serious serious thing their placement is very serious because when they grow in you want to have them all in the the straight line and not have some farther away from others it'll be you know because they're not going to even all grow the same but just make it uniform plant it all out and then plant them in the ground as far as planting them in the ground you want to plant them a little bit high um you don't want to plant them too low i'm trying to see if i can get an example of how they're planted but I can't even really see with these stooges they're really nice because they're really thick at the base I can't even really see the base but okay so there's the base right where the right where the root ball starts so that's where you want to plant them just flush with the root ball you don't want to go too deep you don't want to go up on the trunk and cause rot and then you don't want to go too high either so right where the root ball starts plant it flush with that and then it's best it's not 100 percent necessary but it's best if they're on a little bit of a hill so that they have good drainage um they could be planted on flat ground but if they were on flat ground i'd plant them a little bit higher up for drainage they like good drainage but they don't like dry soil by any means so the first year after you got them all planted in you're then going to want to hook up some sort of watering system or just water them daily. Um, I used to have a hose that I ran out here. But the cool thing is the watering system won't be necessary all the time. Uh, after that first year, when you have them consistently watered every day if it doesn't rain, then you're going to be able to just let them naturalize and not water them anymore. And that is when they'll start really coming into their own, 
filling out and um, just looking amazing. So all of them are pretty tall now. Uh, I'd say we're looking at 15 footers at least. Um, they really, really, really grow during the summer. During the winter, they'll kind of take a rest, so don't be hard on yourself. But during the summer, they will absolutely take off. They have all grown probably a couple feet this season, so that's really good. Another thing is uh, holly tone is really the secret to them. So I use holly tone that first year. You're going to want to put holly tone down right away. And then probably every six months after that. And that'll get them to really take off and get a good start on them. So that's pretty much a walkthrough of the entire first first steps and first procedures to getting your living fence in. Now, this is only uh, three to four years in, but you can imagine 10 years in, uh, the transformation this will do to the yard and the level of privacy it will give uh, is definitely worth the time and energy it is to, to put them in. Even like right now, it's a big, it's a pretty big payback because I'm right at the, I'm at the marker where they're way taller than me, so they are making a, a pretty big statement, but I'm just kind of waiting for them to fill in. So be patient with them. That first, uh, that first year they'll kind of be sleeping, and that second year they'll, they'll grow a lot more and get established, and then the third, fourth year it'll really start to take off and then it's just uphill from there. So you can see that this is kind of the perfect, perfect spot to uh, put, this is just a perfect spot to put a living fence because you got the little bit of the hill, you've got the full sun aspects, and then as well, you've got the, the, you know, just the fact that it can't be part of any other type of, uh, it can't be part of any other type of fence um, as far as doing another type of tree here, a substitute to the Thuja. I really don't think there is one. Uh, it's, a, it's a really great tree. It has a really deep, rich history. Um, it's nicknamed the, the uh, Tree of Life. And... By planting one, you, you're really benefiting the land as well. Um, not only will they be providing uh, oxygen and nutrients to the land, but they smell really good. They're, um, they keep insects away. The, the smell of them is an insect repellent. They are a sacred tree. So the Thuja arborvitae uh, is... So it's the Thuja Green Giant Arborvitae. I don't want there to be any confusion there. The Thuja Green Giant Arborvitae. There's a lot of different different iterations of this tree. So make sure you get the right one. Okay. Um, next to it, the sister trees. Because I just want to see how much faster they grow. This is the Leyland Cypress. Um, and they grow incredibly fast. I got these when they were $5 whips. Probably about this tall. So not tall at all. Like literally the tree was about five inches tall. Now three years later it's it's bounding up. So I really think actually this the younger that you'll actually get them is good is actually the better option. Because it lets them establish. Um, I'll show you an example just to close out everything. Is this uh this one that I bought? When it was too large, uh, I bought this one as a $50 tree. And it's an absolute mistake because it had to be cut back and it suffered stress. So if you buy them smaller, it's actually a much better and smarter option because they'll get established in the environment and won't go through all the stress that um, 
that would happen to a larger tree. So it's cheaper, it's better, and you actually see a return on your investment a lot faster. Um, I, I was kind of thinking of it like when you see a tree grow up in the wild, like a seedling tree, just grow from where the seed germinated and it's never moved, it grows extremely fast. So uh, that's something to kind of think about and relate it to. Let's see where we'll close out this video. Let's close it out. Let's close it out in the greenhouse. So, we are in the greenhouse. Really appreciate everyone watching if you did watch to the end. Um, greenhouse is looking pretty good. Not bad at all. Um, there's definitely a lot of room in here this time of year. I've got a transplant out these peppers got a lot of work to do but i wanted to give you guys a walkthrough i know that a lot of people were interested in the living fence video so i want to just literally give you a play-by-play -play of what i did so that people can just take that and do exactly that all in the investments probably like maybe under 100 bucks for like you'll probably need depending on how long your living fence is i don't know five five to ten trees Maybe get the, if you're going to do a lot, maybe get the $5 ones. They'll grow faster than you think. So let's turn it around, say bye. Thank you so much, everyone, for watching. Everyone stay tuned in for future episodes. Smash that subscribe button. I'm not going to stop posting plant content. Right now is the time of year where a lot of people shy away from their plants a little bit. They're like, ah, you know, I don't want to. But trust me, your plants will uh You'll reap the benefits. So with trees and with living fences like that, you cannot, you can't give up on them that first year or forget about them. Water them and baby them, and then they will, uh, you will reap the benefits of healthy trees. So uh, keep growing, everyone. Please uh, have a great day and uh, keep watching. Thank you so much. Out.